Hi, this is Patrick Valella from Katzhoff Consulting with another top time-saving tip for Revit architecture. In this tip, I'll show you a quick way to import a PDF file into Revit to use as the basis of your design. As you may already be aware, as of Revit 2010, there's still no way to directly import a PDF file, so we've got to do a bit of conversion work first. I'll jump over into our Adobe Acrobat Reader, open up the floor plan in question. Here we have a drawing that was printed from AutoCAD, but I don't have the original CAD drawings, so I'm going to have to import this in, then trace over the top of it to create my model. The trick is we want to go in and actually print this. So we'll go to File, go to Print. You need to have a couple of virtual printers that allow us to create an image directly from a PDF file. If you have the full version of Acrobat, you can actually create an image directly from a PDF file. Here, I've found a couple of different sources that we could use to create these images. So for example, there's a little program called the Joy Image Printer, which allows us to print in very high resolution. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use Snagit 8. This is a product from TechSmith, the people who bring us Camtasia, and it works really well, plus it has some really cool editing features built into it. Go into your properties, then go into the advanced. We want to make sure that the print quality is set high enough for the resolution that we want to work with. So, for example, you'll find that you have much better resolution if you bump this up to 600 by 600 just so it looks better inside of Revit and the lines are not merged together. I'll click OK. We also want to make sure that we're just printing the current page. So once it finishes with the printing, it's going to open up the Snagit Capture Preview, which allows me to do some editing, such as rotating the image. So I'll click Rotate and Flip. We'll just rotate it to the right. Then I'll go to the Selection tool. We'll just select each piece of this floor plan. Here you see that it's actually a three-story building, so we want to break up these floor plans into separate images. Go to File, Save this selection as and we just want to make sure that we save it as a bitmap sort of image so a JPEG or a ping file. Of course we'll do that for the remaining two floors for the building then we simply jump over into Revit go to the insert tab of the ribbon click image browse to the image that we just created you don't need to worry about the scale factor when you're first inserting it. We'll just go ahead and drop it into place. If you have multiple floors, you're going to want to insert them as well. Then make sure that they're lined up correctly. So the last thing that we want to do is make sure that our scale factor is set appropriately. So the quickest way that I found to do this is to just go into Annotate. We'll go to Detail Line. We want to pick a wall that I know the dimension for. So I'll just start drawing from here. And I've actually looked at the floor plan and I've seen that this is supposed to be 60 feet. So I'll draw the detail line 60 feet. Then we simply select the image, go to scale. We're going to pick that as our start point. So the distance from that floor or that wall to this wall is supposed to be the same as this length that we've just specified. So just that simple, we've set the scale factor. So one last little tip I want to show you. If you are working with multiple floors, you want to go ahead and take these images and cut and paste them to the appropriate level. We could do that very simply just by selecting it, do a control X to cut it, which copies it to the clipboard as well. Go to the floor or the level that you want to place it on, click modify, Go to Paste Aligned, and we could either do Same Place or Current View, and it pops it right in there for us. So, of course, now we could go into our wall tool and we could start tracing over the top of this. We've got a dimensionally accurate image generated from the PDF file. So that wraps up this top tip. I hope you enjoyed it. hope you find it useful. Again, I'm Patrick Balala from Cadsoft Consulting, and we hope to see you on future tips.